Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about intermittent fasting and hunger. Hunger is one of the best indications to know if you're in keto adaptation, okay? Your body's fully in fat burning. Now, typically, it's okay to be hungry as long as you're not severely hungry with a bunch of other blood sugar symptoms like lightheadedness, dizzy, irritable, sugar cravings, brain fog. That's hypoglycemia. If you have severe hunger with these other symptoms, then you have to change some things. You're going to have to probably add a meal. You're not quite there. You have to back off a little bit. You know, some people like jump right in and they're having that 20 hour fasting with a four hour eating window. They're not ready yet. You have to graduate into that and it takes time to adapt your body. But um, if you can just go a long period of time and not have a crash and burn, then we know that you're fully adapted and, and you just ride the wave because it's working nicely. But if you have the symptoms, you have to slow it down. You have to add more fat with a meal, probably add a meal, space that a little bit more so you're not fasting as long. Um, so it's all about, a, it's all a timing thing and everyone is so different. So you just have to do it, see what happens, and then kind of uh, create your meals based on just before you, you crash and burn. Couple things if you're in this category, if you're not adapted yet, add electrolytes. The electrolyte powder I have works really well because it has a lot of potassium and potassium fixes insulin resistance. So it'll help you greatly. It doesn't just have potassium, it has all the electrolytes. And then bone broth is another really good thing to do while you're fasting just to give you um, the electrolytes from bone and other properties. It's not a bad idea. It's kind of like a it's like soup without anything in it, but nutrition. Uh, again, add the fat, and then you might want to add another meal, okay? And don't forget to, uh, um, to keep the vegetables high, because if you're just doing protein and fat um, and you, without the potassium, it's, you're not going to be able to correct uh, the insulin dysfunction, okay? So I just wanted to differentiate this one point, and just so you can um, you know, judge by where you're at and what you need to do. Put your comments below. Press the subscribe button and I will keep you updated on the future events.